I was right there. And they were digging trenches. In Belgium. In Belgium and other places. I don't know if this is past, present, or future. Right. But they were lining up civilians, families, mothers, fathers, children, right at the edge of the trenches. Oh, my gosh. And shooting them at random. Of course, they would fall into the pit they had dug, the trench, and just covering them back up. And I was wearing a long, wide, like a, a winter raincoat. When the man was shot that I saw, I didn't know what else to do but gather the, the children and the woman into that raincoat and, and just cover them so they couldn't see maybe any more than what they had already seen. The Blessed Mother came and wrapped her mantle around it. my winter raincoat, which was holding his wife and children. Mm. And they were young. They are young. Seven, eight, nine years old. Mm. Dear God. And Daddy came and wrapped his mantle around the Blessed Mother. So we were enfolded inside of their mantles. Mm. And all I could think of was, please, Lord, don't let them remember this. Block their memories. Block their emotions. Block something. It is or it will be very, very horrible but more and more commonplace mm. along the countries that border Russia. That's what the Nazis did. They say history repeats itself. I don't know. All I know is what I saw. Who is killing the people? The Illuminati. I wonder why. I don't know. They looked like Middle to upper middle class families. You know, maybe the dad was a banker or something. I don't know. Parents looked like they were about in their 40s. The children were so young. There was something else you wanted me to record from earlier. Well, ask me anything you want to, and I'll try to answer your questions. It was uh, from the other recording that we did. I forget what it was about. What was that other recording about? The Lord bleeding from the crucifix? Yeah, that's right. I never did get that. The Lord was, I mean, real blood. It was a San Damiano cross. Right. A Franciscan cross. Bleeding real blood. I mean, copious, just pumping out of his side mm. into a golden shell that was suspended in the air. And he asked that we have adoration of the precious blood tonight, at least for an hour today, wherever the clock happens to be around the world. Okay. I better do that. Kind of where I've been trying to stay and come back to. When I drift, the chalice is just suspended right in front of me, right in the air. And the crucifix. Wow. Real warm human blood coming out of it. Wow. And yet the chalice seems like it never, it's never full. What do you think it represents? That the Lord has never, 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 ever done with soul until that last fatal decision. And he will give everything to the marrow of his bones to the last millisecond to snatch these souls from the abyss of hell. I mean, reaching over the edge and snatching them. That's all I know for now. 